I was going on YouTube. Appreciate the love and support. New reason, NFL talk. Show love to the channel. We're not going to stop. Thursday night football, we had Miami, Miami Dolphins at the Cincinnati Bengals. In the second quarter, quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, Tua Tungabalora, got sacked, suffered a very nasty, disturbing neck and head injury. I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I first saw it, I was watching the game live. I didn't think much of it. You know, I was just kind of like, all right, another sack. I might have looked at my phone or turned my head in the other direction. When I look back at my iPad, watching the game, I'm, I'm still seeing two or eight on the ground. It's like, this is serious. Like, that's some real, that's a real problem that's going on right there. I'm not going to post a picture. I'm not going to um, show the video of the game, the sack. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen it already on social media. As soon as it happened, you know, I'm on Twitter following and seeing what's going on. It's kind of crazy seeing the negative comments and the jokes that people were having, seeing somebody laying like that because, wow, I get it. I'm a fan. I watch the game too. I bet on games too. I'm entertained by the games, by the athletes. Cool. But at the same time, you got to understand that's real life. Like that's a real injury somebody's going through. It's not just, you know, like a bullshit. And like, that's somebody's life right there. And just seeing how grown men and women we're just deciding to be like, hey, let me just go on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram and just say, for what? <laughs> like, it just, it's as corny as hell. That's mad tacky. But um, as far as the injury goes and tour playing, he had no business playing. Like, if you guys even watched the game at um, the Bills versus the Dolphins last week, not even a week ago, five days ago. It was even a scary injury, too. Like, seeing Tua um, get up, try to walk, fall on the ground, stumble. Like, that's not normal. You're, like, you're not supposed to see athletes go through that, people go through that. And we all know the history that's been taking place for the, for a while now as far as uh, the CTE talks and the con uh, concussion protocols. And Miami Dolphins, their medical team failed Tua. Like, that's just straight up. They failed. The Miami Dolphins failed that dude. And it's unfortunate because that's really not even the first case. That's not the first situation with a professional NFL player that's out there playing with a team that's really not all in for them. And again, as a fan, I get it. Sometimes I'll be thinking, like, why the fuck are they paying these guys $200 million to do this shit? Why are these guys complaining about, oh, instead of $30 million, I need to get $35 million. I'm like, why are these dudes just messing up? That's the fan perspective. But at the same time, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I feel like I have a balance where I can kind of understand what shit. If I was an athlete, if I'm a professional NFL player, and there's a team that's paying me $40 million, if I'm worth 40, why not give me, I'm going to try to get that extra money. It's a game, but at the same time, that's your medical bills. That's the protection you have. That's for your family. That's the shit that you depend on. And it's kind of like if you don't have the team backing you, the contract, if you're in contract disputes, you know, it's going to be tough. Until it's early in his, in his his career. So he's playing for his contract. He needs, he can't just be like, man, fuck this. It's third year. So he got to play for that shit. And rather than having him sit out, for a week, two weeks, whatever. Let Bridgewater get the reps in. They throw him right back in. Maybe he had a say in it. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. But for the most part, medical is like, nah. Check, check, check. He's good. Put him back on the field. Five days later, Thursday night football. Boom. It's, fu it's, it's, it's sad, man. It's sad. Y'all remember 2019. Earl Thomas. Contract dispute. Playing for a contract. He feels like he's worth this much. Seattle's like, yeah, yeah, you're not giving you that. He ends up going out, going out to play that season, trying to prove himself, ends up getting hurt. Gets a, I think it was a bad leg injury. You guys can see him on the card. As he's getting carted off the field, sticks his middle finger up to the to his coach, to his whole sideline. And then when he, when he got asked about it, he said, yeah, I don't regret it. During the whole contract disputes, coach was being shady, the team was being shady. I did this, I'm doing this, I feel like I'm worth this. They don't think that. I'm going to go out, prove myself, boom, get injured, you get nothing. Another guy, this year, Lamar Jackson, quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens, probably having an MVP season. 
except for my boy right here. My boy going to get this. Jalen, you know, MVP. But um, balling out, contract dispute, all uh, on the offseason prior to the season starting. Um, felt like he wanted to get this money. Baltimore said, we're not paying you this. This quarterback gets paid this money. This guy get this guy signed this contract. This guy just got signed contract. And to be honest, Lamar Jackson is better than all three, four other guys who signed contract extensions uh, during the offseason. I think it was who? <clears throat> Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, and uh, Deshaun Watson. But I do like Deshaun Watson. And whenever he gets deal with all that situation, everything goes like that. But <laughs> Lamar Jackson needs to get paid. And he said, whatever, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you guys. I'm going to go out. I'm not going to sit out. I'm going to go out and play. And he's balling out. They're going to pay him? So, look, I get it, man. I get it. But trying to play both sides of it from the fan side. It's like, yeah, dudes, just go out and play, whatever, whatever, not nah, this and that. But we can't just, like, we got to sometimes look past it and just be like, that shit is dangerous what them, what them dudes are doing. Fucking Sterling Shepard. For the, for the Giants the other day. He's just running. He didn't even get tackled or nothing. And we've seen that injury happen to a bunch of guys. Like, they're just running. Knee pops, ACL. Boom. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Eagles, we got the Jags coming up this week. Doug Peterson. It's going to be a good game. Jags, they got it all right, but, you know. Come on. Come on. Um, we're going to keep it up. We're going to keep talking about the sports different news and different things that's going on. Stay tuned for the stories, man. Show love to the channel. I'm not going to stop. Catch you on the next one. Peace.